Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the Twin Flame Soulmate Journey. Hey guys, how are you? Let's tap into this energy, see if it changed, see if it stayed the same. Spirit, so join me at this table to tap into the energy of the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energies, those that are in union, those that are in separation, those that are in love. Spirit, what messages do you have for the twins? This is a Twin Flame Soulmate reading for the collective. Spirit, come through. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for riding with me. Thank you for all your support, all your beautiful comments. Thank you for sharing on this platform. There's so many people going through the same thing. And, and you guys, you know, leaving your beautiful comments. You really support one another. I love that energy. Spirit come through. Let's see what's going on for the twins. Divine feminine, divine masculine energies. What's going on? What's going on, spirit? Come through. Divine feminine, divine masculine energies. First position you have is judgment. Mm -hmm. Judgment. First position, judgment. They have the nine of wands. Ay, ay, ay. You have the four of swords. You have the Four of Cups. You have the Strength card. Uh, you have the Five of Cups in reverse. Hmm. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. You have the Seven of wands okay mm -hmm. you have the six of wands you have the queen of wands you have the ten of cups you have the king of pentacles okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have the magician. Look at that. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me look this over. Come through spirit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where's my wine? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so you have one, two... Three. Three major cons. We will take it, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have... You got the Eight of Cups, okay? You guys might have walked away from this connection with your twin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, love be damn. You know, Eight of Cups is a lot of emotions that you have for this person, but you still walked away for your own sanity or something like that. Or, you know, just to grab a, a hold of this, this might have been... Uh, might have been very overwhelming for you or might have been becoming very overwhelming for you you know it was just too much too much too soon maybe you didn't get uh reciprocity from this person and you walked away loving them you walked away okay with a great deal of love for them you still walked away and yep ace of cups they love you too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like hidden love unspoken love yeah you walked away from somebody that loves you very much and you love them with this Ace of Cups here. Hidden love, unspoken love. Maybe you guys never really got a chance to see where this could go or where this would go. You're very emotional over each other, but it just wasn't hitting. It wasn't going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This person is rushing in and let you know how they feel about you, though. Your absence are certainly missed here, okay? This person is wondering why they don't feel your energy as strong as they used to. They can feel that you're pulling away because then now they want to rush in and let you know how they truly feel about you. Okay, yeah, if you guys thought this was over, this is a death card in reverse. If you thought it was over, this is a, no, it's not over. This is a great deal of unfinished business, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody can't make a decision on which one to, to choose. You got two of swords. Your person might be seeing you and somebody else or maybe seeing somebody else and have a, a twin of connection with you. And they can't make a decision on who they want, okay? Spirit come through. Let's see what else we can get. Judgment, first position. Yeah, you may be judging yourself. Mm. You may be judging yourself. You may be angry with yourself. You might be mad at yourself on on um, 
on sticking around or tolerating this person, you know, mistreating you or ignoring you, disregarding you, um, not wanting you. And you you like begging for their attention. You're begging for them to want you. You're begging, begging for them to give you more or something like that. You may be judging yourself a little harshly on that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because we have uh, the nine of wands next to that. This is burdens. Yeah, this is somebody that you love very much and you know you need to let go, but you're still holding on. Although, you know, they drain the crap out of you. It's very draining energy here. Yeah, you're trying to heal from this situation here. Mm -hmm. And this is why you're judging yourself here. Your thing is, why am I taking this? How, how, why have I been taking this for so long? Why am I wasting my time here? I'm trying to love this person and they just have no intentions on loving me back. Some, something along that line there. Okay. Yeah. You're trying to heal from this because you, you feel this person that don't want you. They may, they may have been rejecting you or something like that. Yeah. You feel unwanted by this person. You feel like this person don't want what you want. Okay. So now you're standing in your strength, divine energy. You're standing in your strength you're getting much stronger no matter who you're here for if i'm talking to the divine masculine or divine feminine okay it, do, it doesn't matter okay you guys are feeling much stronger now you're feeling like okay if you don't want me i don't want you okay i'm no longer going to keep holding on to this draining ass energy if it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere this is the judgment call that you're making you're going to make a decision here to get out of this because you might you're getting stronger now Okay, you're getting stronger. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. You may be a Leo yourself. Some of you may be dealing with a, a, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. You could be an uh, air sign yourself. Mm -hmm. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Okay, you could be also a water sign yourself. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. You could be those signs yourself as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You also got the five of cuff, cups, five of cups in reverse. This is some sort of um, regaining what was lost or something like that. Some sort of recovery here. You're like, you're feeling better. You're coming back to your old self again or something like that. But at the same time, it's like you're unable to let go of this person. Or you're unable to let go of the past Um of what have happened with this person. Yeah. This past person also could be returning to you all of a sudden. And you're like, what now? What do you want now? You're standing your ground. Seven of Wands. You're like, I tried to love you. You gave me your behind the kiss. I tried to love you. It was nothing but a fight. Okay. It was very draining energy. You just wore me out. Okay. And however you look at it, with the Seven of Wands, you're defending yourself. You're standing up for yourself. You're standing your ground. You're like, look, I tried with you. You didn't want it. Why are you returning? Okay. Yeah, you're getting a lot of recognition from this person with the Six of Wands. Okay. You're getting a lot of attention. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody is recognizing you. If it's not this person, somebody is. Somebody's recognizing you. Somebody's definitely giving you a lot of attention. It's like victory. Okay, you had victory. Okay, you also got the Queen of Wands. So many of you have that attitude. Listen here, if you don't know who I am, if you can't appreciate who I am, I'll go get somebody who can. Okay, you're taking action. You're no longer playing victim with this person. Okay, now this person is going to come rushing back in to offer you some sort of commitment with that Ten of Cups. Now they're ready to invest in you, King of Pentacles energy. Okay, yeah, and it looks like you're, you're, you're manifesting it with this Magician card here. You're manifesting this energy now. Mm, look at that. It's like you changed your attitudes towards this connection, and by doing so, you have changed their attitude towards this connection, okay? Mm -hmm. You changed your behavior in this in, in participating in this relationship, and by doing so, now they have are, are changing their behavior. Mm. Because in this Queen of Wands energy, you're like, look, I got, I'm making moves. I'm taking action. I'm not going to sit here and wait for you to make up your mind. Okay. If you can't appreciate who I am, if you can't see my beauty, if you can't see my gifts, if you can't see what I bring to this, to this relationship or to this connection, I'll go get somebody that can. Okay. Pull back your energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Standing in your power, standing in your strength. Okay. Now this person wants to return. Okay, now this person wants to return. Okay, since you are regaining what was lost, which is what which may have been your dignity, your self respect. Okay, mm hmm, mm hmm. It, you now you're regaining your power back. Okay, you're recovering, you're healing. We see that right here with the Four of Swords. Now this person wants to come back. Mm -hmm. They think they're going to pull you right back to this old, you know, energy that you were in. That's not happening. Uh-uh. 
because you're standing in your power now. You're seeing through different lens. You're taking the rose-colored glasses off. You see this for what this is now. So you're defending yourself. You're standing in your power. Look at that. It don't get no better than that. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, this person wants to come in now and tell you how much they love you. They should have been told you this, okay? This person pretended like, you know, they didn't care. They just wanted you to con to continually uh, stroke their ego. They wanted you to continually boost their ego up or make them feel, put them on a pedestal, make them feel above and beyond. Uh, this person wanted you to lift them, okay? They didn't know, they didn't know participating in listen, lifting you. This is why it was so draining. It was like pulling teeth trying to love this person. This person made it very difficult difficult to be understanding to be there for them to support them or something like that okay the more you try to love them the more they run from they ran from you the more they disregarded you the more they disrespected you you said oop mm, but let me pause let me put the brakes on this and that's what you have done okay you held on for far too long this is why you're judging yourself because you know you did you held on for far too long knowing you should have let this go you knew this wasn't going anywhere okay you might have gave this person weeks months years Okay, and this is why you're judging yourself. You're like, what the hell was wrong with me? Okay, you plucking yourself in the head saying, oops, I could have had a V8. Uh huh. So now you're healing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you felt rejected by this person and that hurt your pride. So now you're standing in your strength. Okay, you pulled back all your energy and now this person wants to return. Okay, then now this person wants to uh, come back and let you know how they feel about you. Okay, you stood your ground to them like, what the hell you want now? What are you here for now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now they want to give you all the attention that you were giving them. Now they want to stroke your ego. Look at this. This has really flipped around. I love it. I love it. And now you're manifesting exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. Do you want this person back? Or do you want somebody else? Or do you just want to be by yourself? Okay. Because this is what you're manifesting. Whatever it is, you're going to get it. Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. Okay. Spirit come through. For the twins out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spirit come through. What's going on for those twins out there? Let's look at the romance angel cards. For the divine masculine, divine feminine energies. Okay. Yeah, you guys got true love here. Okay. This is a romance of a lifetime that you're going through this with. Mm -hmm. This is true love, no matter how it's started, no matter how it's unfolding, okay? Uh, you're not tripping, you're not bugging. Some of you are wondering, do this person really loves you? Yes, they do. Some of you are wondering, is this really my twin? Is this really someone I'm supposed to be with? Mm, I don't know about supposed to be with, but this person really do love you, okay? This, this is real. The energy that you're feeling with this person is real, okay? Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are in separation right now. Time apart. Uh, from your partners on horizon. Yeah, you have you have separated yourself from this person. Yeah, you got tired of it. It was like enough is enough because you feel I deserve love and I'm just not getting it from you. Okay. Yeah, you are very lovable and you do deserve love. But since you wasn't getting it from this person, you are moving on. Okay. You said twin flame be damned. I don't care. You're not giving me what I want. You're not emotional fulfill fulfilling at all. I'm completely wasting my time, my weeks, my days, my years, however, my months, however this was going. And now you're seeking new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Many of you are already dating someone new, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's what you've been looking for. It's what you've been wanting. And now here come this person. Wanting to try to let you know, oh, I, I'm, I still hold something for you. I still want you. Mm -hmm. And you have learned to love yourself first. Okay, that's your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is why this person is now coming back towards you. Because you have really went into your power. You have started respecting yourself. You're standing in your strength now, divine. Uh-huh. It's, you're, you're letting them know, if you won't love me, if you won't find me attractive, I'll find somebody else that will. That's that Queen of Wands energy, honey. She makes moves. She don't let no grass grow under her feet. Mm -mm. No matter if you're male or female. Yeah, you're going to make moves after a while. You ain't going to sit there and keep, you know, belly aching over this. You're going you, to make a move real soon. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the angel's message is, is, is for you, okay? Since we did the romance angels, let's do the angels, gods, and goddesses. How about that? Mm -hmm. Let's see what the angels have for you. The angels have been guarding you and protecting you this whole journey with this person, too. Spirit, come through. 
come through spirit what messages do you have for the twins divine feminine divine masculine energies come through okay we have goddess of justice okay what seems injustice is actually a blessing so if you felt this person was totally treating you wrong mistreating you disregarding you it was actually a blessing it had to bring something out of you okay it had to bring something out of you it had to made you go it had to make you go within to see your worth okay to to determine your worth to to see your value to to uh embrace that self love because you know once you start you tapping into your strength and tap into that energy of what I deserve and what I don't deserve is something that came out of you honey it's something that came out of you that stood your ground mhm mm mhm mm goddess of knowledge start to apply what you already know trust your intuition mhm mm your very intuitive energies uh both of you you know when a twin come in contact with their twin that's exactly what get heightens their intuition okay Mm -hmm. angel of emergence it is time for the real you to emerge okay yeah you're going to show this person a side of you that they that they've never seen before that they don't even know exists okay uh-huh if you if this person thought that you were easy to uh to bullshit or easy to mislead or you know you were just a pushover you was a nut i can do anything i want they're gonna see a different side of you my love honey they're about to see a whole new different side of you okay this might be some a side that that you never wanted to show them because you love them so much oh they did it for you oh my god i love 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 this person didn't reciprocate this person took advantage of that you caught this person cheating however whatever went down however you know what your story is now you're ready to show them that other side of you the love is not there like it used to be there's a new love the, the, the love is there but there's a new you emer had, that has emerged through this okay you're not loving them no more you're not stroking their ego like you used to you're you're, you're more into self-healing and more into stroking your own ego you're trying to pamper yourself now now this new you has emerged okay now you look different you done lost weight you grew your hair you cut your hair you're wearing different clothes different make however you look at it you walk into your own beat now and honey baby now they're saying a side that they didn't that you never really wanted them to see but here it is all the same okay we got god of conflict resolution you are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict look at that look at that yeah you are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict there's something that something's going on some kind of conflict y'all not getting along okay you love each other but you know something is still missing you're trying to hold on to something that you that's draining you know you should have been let go spirit is encouraging you to say goodbye it's, you know you got to move on y'all could amicably be together but it's time to let that go okay this person has took too much of your power out of you okay you may have been giving your power to too many people it's time to take it back okay we got angel of soul love time to look at how you value yourself issues of self-love yeah you might are learning you might be learning a great deal of how to love yourself how to put yourself first you may be an individual that constantly pushes puts everybody above you or in front of you and spirit wants you to learn self-love you have to okay you had to as long as you were sitting around you know getting fat and eating and looking unattractive this person was happy giving you their behind the kiss you pulled back your energy you you start working on yourself you got this new vitality of in, of energy now embracing yourself and loving yourself learning that self-love for yourself now you look attractive now this person what this person is now saying who is this who is this person you know oh no this is the one i always wanted where did this person come from now this person wants to be back with you Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. be very selective letting this person back in be very selective okay and if you do let them in let them in on your terms okay because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like the car said if you thought it was over it's not over mm -hmm. so make sure it's on your terms okay mm -hmm. spirit come through make sure it's on your terms spirit come through mm. for the twins okay take back your power divine feminine divine masculine energies you gave too much up mm -hmm. yep high priestess energy i can't make this shit up you're very intuitive you know better you know you know what you have given up what you have lost 
You know what you have sacrificed in this. You know it. You did it out of love. Okay? Mysterious, confident, discerning, creative, insightful, unattainable, and spirituality. Yeah, many of you are becoming very unattainable. Now this person wants you back. And you're laughing. You're enjoying the attention that you're getting from this person. Be very careful. Okay? I'm going to tell you guys what I told Virgo early. I had a dream this morning. In the dream, I was giving somebody a private reading. They were sitting across from me. I was sitting across. I don't remember their face. I just know they was across from me, and I was reading the cards for them. For them. And what I said to them is they have met someone. They have met someone who's truly invested in them, who truly loves them, who wants to give them everything they want. They want to give them everything they have, okay? Mm -hmm. All that they've got, they want to give to them. I said, however, you you don't want this. You you're just dating this person off out, out of like a rebound, okay? You want to make the other person that you just broke up with or that you're no longer with, you want to make them jealous. Mm. I said that's going to backfire because this person is a chosen one, okay? This is going to greatly affect your karma. Okay, this person is very much invested in you. This person really want to do for you, but you don't really want them. You have to be honest. You have to speak your truth. You don't really want this person. You're only dating them, hoping that the other person come and claim you, fight for you, you know, um, suddenly come to, come into some sort of clarity about who you are to them. I said, but in the meanwhile, you're hurting somebody who's really there, who's really invested. I said, you have to be honest. Now, that was in a dream that I had this morning. I woke up out of this dream and I started doing readings. I did Virgo first and I told them that. So I'm also going to let this know, let you guys know that too, Twin Flames. If you guys are moving on to somebody else, that's fine. Just make sure you have truly closed the door with somebody else. Make sure your intentions are good, your intentions are real. You're not trying to make somebody jealous. You're not just some, trying to make somebody come to their senses or something like that because you're playing with somebody that's a chosen one that karma is not going to be good for you if you hurt this person okay spirit come through let's continue can i have some more messages for the twins mm -hmm. can i please have some more messages for the twins Okay, we have special date, okay? Will be a meaningful event, birthday, important recon reconciliation. Uh timing timing is of great importance, okay? Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to be marking some sort of special date. Something is about to emerge here. Something is about to go down. Mhm. Mm could be birthday, could be graduation date. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Could be a Libra yourself, twins. Mm -hmm. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You could be a Libra. You could be dating a Libra, okay? Indeci indecision causing delays. Somebody cannot choose a path. Somebody cannot make a choice here, okay? Harmony, balance, charm, and beauty. Mm -hmm. Weigh each option and its consequences, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what you guys need to do, okay? Either you or your person cannot make a decision, okay? So you're going to make a decision for them, okay? Or you already have, okay? Spirit come through. Yeah, many of you are tired of waiting. Mm -hmm. There you go. This person wants you to have more patience with them and you don't have it. You're like, no, I didn't give you. I have given you every ounce of patience that I have. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Balance, restoration, replenish, patience, rejuvenation, calm and, de and diligence. Yeah, you guys are definitely rejuvenated now. You're, you're restoring your, to your old self again. The old you is coming back out better, stronger, looking good, smelling good. You just got a whole new attitude for yourself. Divine feminine, divine masculine energies. This was this took you through through something. You just, you know, this is this wasn't you. You tried to conform to somebody that wasn't you, okay? Or you thought this is what you wanted or something like that. And you find out, no, mm -mm. I like this new me better. I like this new energy. You're shopping. You you know, you're getting your makeovers or something like that. You're vacationing. You're, you're going out more. You're seeing your old friends that you cut off due to this relationship or something like that. Old friends that told you you were wasting your time. What are you doing? Now you're going out, enjoying yourself. You're having more fun, okay? It's like the lesson has been learned here. Healing work must be done soul lesson learning wounds blocked from your highest good you were blocked from your highest good you're tapping into that highest good energy now and you like the way it feels you like the way it feels you're proud of yourself okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you was judging yourself at first like what the hell did i do yeah because you fell in love you got the lover's card romance soulmate compatibility sexual connection romance and passion and love you fell in love with this person and you lost yourself in the process okay you 
you just gave too much up. Mm -hmm. A relationship, a love relationship, is it goes two ways. It's not one way. If this person wasn't loving you as hard as you was loving them, you know you need to check that, okay? If this person wasn't invested in you as long as well as you was invested, you know you need to check that, okay? Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, okay, you might have caught this person in some sort of inf infidelity, okay? If this person was cheating and you wasn't, you need to check that, okay? If you were cheating and they wasn't, then you need to check that, okay? In other words, where's the balance? There was no balance there. And if you're in love, it should be balanced. It, the energy should go both ways, Okay? Mm -hmm. And you were in a one-sided relationship, okay? Mm -hmm. And since you love this, you love this person. You you just tolerated it. You took it, and this is why you were judging yourself with that judgment card in the first position. This is why you have the tower. You feel this, you know, things was falling apart. You wasn't ready for it or something like that. This was something unexpected that came out of your your dream relationship. You might have thought this was your dream relationship. This was your dream partner, and they threw a monkey wrench in it. It was something that came unexpectedly. This was like a natural disaster. This was very unexpected tragedy. Something happened here, okay, that threw you off your kilter. You know, it threw everything off, all right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It put you in an energy that you just couldn't snap out of or something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. When you walked away from it, you did and you stayed in it, okay? And this is why you're judging yourself. This is why you're putting up with so much anger when it comes to yourself or some sort of disappointment because you just you you know you're just mad like i can't believe i took that one moment this card fell let me get it yeah this is the hangman it had you in some sort of stuck energy mm-hmm you were in some sort of stuck energy with this person, trapped, indecisive, confined. You might have put your own self in that confinement energy where you weren't, you wasn't going nowhere. You were just sitting around the house waiting for this person to show you some sort of love. Now you're moving on. You're tired of it now. You're like, you know, no, you want to put me, I'm putting myself in a self-imposed prison. This is not me. This is not what I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you found some some sort of strength from somewhere. You have gotten strong from somewhere. Compassion, sacrifice, healing, resilience, bravery, courage. Maybe you went to therapy. Maybe you were talking to somebody else that was giving you encouragement. Encouragement. Maybe you just went within. And you was just looking at it with that e with that ego eye. You know, with that you know that judgment. That judgment helps you judge things. Okay. Maybe you just used that judgment energy, and you was like, nope, this ain't what I want. This ain't it. Uh huh. And by doing so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have March. There will be showers of blessings, luck, Patrick, St. Patrick's Day, abundance. Anything will, anything you do will turn to gold. Okay. And by standing in that strength, you have changed your energy. Okay. Now you're feeling more lucky. You're feeling more hopeful. You're feeling more vibrant. You're feeling I can do anything that I want to do. I can change this energy. And you are. You got the sun, mm -hmm. joy, freedom, enthusiasm, self expression, pregnancy, good luck, gratitude. Okay. So you're experiencing some joy here. You're experiencing some happiness here. Since you, since you moved on and stepped into that strength, your luck has changed. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of you could have a birthday in March. You could be Pisces or Aries energy. Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Mm, look at that. We have next year. Mm -hmm. Step by step, you'll get there. Keep going, baby steps. Don't rush. There's no shortcuts to this journey. Okay. Something is going to unfold for you next year, or maybe next year you'll be ready to, you know, settle down into a commitment. But right now you're just doing your own thing. You're doing yourself and you're loving it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just want to have fun. You just want to enjoy you right now. Okay, you feel like you gave your, gave too much up to somebody that just wasn't reciprocating or something like that. Mm. Many of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. You could be Capricorn yourself. Mm -hmm. Hard work will pay off. Discipline, strategic, rigid, tenacity. Weigh up every pro and con. Okay, make sure this is exactly what you want. Okay, weigh the pros and cons. All right. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're emotionally fulfilled. Okay. Make sure you're not working so hard in a damn relationship all by yourself. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, many of you also could be a Virgo here. Yeah, we got slowly moving towards you. Detail, picky, practical, shyness. Take practical steps towards your goals, okay? You could be also a Virgo that fell out, so I'm going to give it to y'all, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be a Virgo yourself, all right? Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what else we got for you guys. Spirit come through. What else do we have? What's the time? Okay. Just gonna take it. Yeah, many of you might be thinking about moving. Location change. Mm -hmm. Either you have moved or your person have moved. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. Again, we got that change in that luck, honey. Your luck is changing. Okay. By, by, by doing yourself this justice, moving on for yourself. Uh huh. It has definitely helped your mental health. Okay. It has definitely helped your mental health. You're feeling so much better about yourself. Okay. Making yourself a priority was like the best thing you could do for yourself, twins. If you're in this twin flame soulmate journey, making yourself a priority is like the best thing you have done for yourself. Okay. I think I'm gonna name that this read. Making yourself a priority was the best thing you could have done for yourself okay mm -hmm. it's like a graduation yeah it's like an ascension to the next level you guys have graduated look at that look at that spirit come through yeah making yourself a priority is like the best thing you can have done to yourself it's like a graduation yeah you have ascended to the next level look at that beautiful 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 uh -huh. Yeah, we got locked down, honey. Access denied, unavailable. Yeah, you no longer want this old energy that you were in or this person that, that, that whatever they had you in. You no longer want that. You don't want to go back to that. You done had some sort of taste of, of you. You taste of you have had some sort of taste of wish fulfillment, your strength. You know, you're coming out of that stuck energy. No way in hell are you gonna go back to that. Okay? Love be damned. Mm-mm. Yeah, you're going to start traveling more. You want more adventure, okay? Yeah, you, you realize now how bored you were in that old energy, how it wasn't conducive to you, it wasn't fulfilling to you. You know, it wasn't product, productive, productive at all. You weren't producing anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like you guys are going to start communicating more. You're going to have some conversations about this. You're going to have some sort of heart-to-heart -heart conversation about this. Yeah, you're going to start letting it be known what you want and what you don't want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because right now you're doing some soul searching. Yeah, you like what you've been finding too. You like this newfound energy that you're in, this new strength that you found it for yourself or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're tapping into your spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. You know that you, you are more than this. You are worth more than this. Okay? You know this. You know that you can manifest anything that you want. You know that you can think about it and bring about it. You know that you can cause any change that you want into your life. Okay? It's like that inner child in you is screaming for something new or something different. Okay? You might have been one who constantly was victimized or constantly took, uh, like, constantly took somebody's bad behavior or bad treatment okay and your inner child is finally screaming look stop taking that stand up for yourself your inner child is saying stop letting people hurt you stop letting people mistreat us okay meaning you and your younger self okay your inner child is screaming look stand up for yourself Stop taking that. Don't let nobody mistreat you. Don't let nobody talk to you like that. Don't let nobody degrade you like that. Okay? So you're defending yourself. You're standing up for yourself. Mm, beautiful energy, twins. Beautiful energy. Yeah, this might have been going on for weeks now. This new emergence, this new energy of you. This might have been going on for several weeks now. Maybe maybe for the past uh, six to eight weeks, you, you're just going into this new energy. Yeah, you're investing into yourself. This is what you're doing. You're investing into yourself yourself you're putting all that energy into you okay and you're avoiding all that dark energy that you were in okay that man malevolence energy that that dark energy you're you're avoiding it you don't want that yeah you may have been with a frenemy mm -hmm. somebody who betrayed you you thought this person loved you but they wind up being a frenemy frenemy a frenemy you thought this person loved you you thought they were there for you you thought they you know wanted what you wanted or something like that and you found out they was just you know slowly you know trying to block you or or stop you or just ruin your happiness or something like that in other words they just didn't want what you wanted okay you might have overlooked some sort of betrayal that they did to you and now you're judging yourself okay 
you, you were judging yourself and this is why you're coming out in this whole new different energy now this is that graduation it was for your mental health you had to i hope you enjoyed my read i certainly enjoy bringing it to you if you like my video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment talk to you soon Ashe.